Um, my favorite memory so far at Penn State would be the whiteout game against Michigan. Um, being in the stadium with just all of the energy and craziness going on, it just, it felt so real to be a part of such um, a close-knit and passionate community that Penn State is, especially about football. <laughs> I think my favorite memory was covering the NFL draft last spring. Oh, well, there's been plenty of favorite memories inside Beaver Stadium between the whiteout win over Ohio State in my freshman year. This past year, watching Jim Harbaugh call a timeout on the very first play from scrimmage, which is the single loudest thing I've heard in my entire life to this point. Just, I think people's Apple watches were going off at how crazy it was. People were, they were getting warnings from Apple that exposure to this noise can lead to temporary hearing loss. and. Uh, I remember seeing Snapchat stories like that. Um, that's not to dissuade anybody from coming here, but it's a whiteout, expect noise. It's an avalanche of sound, come on now. But my favorite memory was the 20, uh, was, was last year's NFL draft. My favorite memory is definitely, was definitely last year's NFL draft in Nashville, getting to go down with Com Radio, uh, working an NFL event, which is definitely different than working a college event, whether the Big Ten's putting it on, it's an NCAA tournament, whether it's just a Penn State game. There's something different about when an NFL is producing the NFL is producing an event. And I can remember looking down Broadway in Nashville and just seeing people as far as you could possibly see. All 32 franchises, even the ones in LA that don't really have fans, but all all, all 32 franchises uh, felt like were represented there. Especially Titans fans, even Patriots fans were there. So that was awesome to me, and to see um, just a, a fascinating first round to be right there across from people who are doing this for a living and here I am um, for Com Radio, able to be at the NFL Draft as a junior has been, was an incredible memory for me and Nashville as a city is honestly somewhere I'd love to settle just based off being there for the draft. That is a really, really fun town. I got to go to um, the Online News Association conference in New Orleans this year um, with a couple other professors and that was a really awesome opportunity to like meet more people that do journalism in the real world and learn more about the jobs that are out there and what I should be doing as a journalist. Um, I think my favorite memory was, I'm not, I'm not a sports person, um, so when I chose Penn State, the, a lot of people football is like the main thing they look forward to, but I wasn't that big a fan. I actually missed getting my football tickets because that's how much I didn't know about it. But then I did end up buying one ticket and when I went it was just amazing. Not even just the game because I don't understand anything still. It was just amazing seeing every single student come together um, and just the power of like this, every, how everybody comes together like in these football games, the vibe, the energy. It's just amazing like the student um, morale in those moments. So it was really cool my first football game. It was like October of my freshman year because I didn't get tickets. And that was the only game I went to my freshman year and it was so much fun. Um, I think my favorite memory thus far would have to be the Ashley Awards, which is hosted by Black Caucus. Um, it's just like the BET Awards of Penn State. Um, everyone comes dressed to like their finest, like it's serious stuff. Um, and then there's performances, awards, and it's just a whole ceremony to, um, to celebrate just black health excellence, not even just black excellence, just excellence within the POC community as a whole. And it's like the way to end off the semester and everyone's just so happy, it's great.